Number 1. ALMA's Survey of Protoplanetary Disks The researchers will study 17 of the 20 nearest protoplanetary disks discovered by Chile's Atacama Large Millimeter-Submillimeter Array in 2018 for the Disk Substructures at High Angular Resolution Project using NASA's James Webb Space Telescope. ALMA provided wonderful data about the outer disks, but Webb will go into greater depth about the interior disks by providing spectra, which spread light out into a rainbow and show the chemical compositions of each object. Number 2. Quasar Outflow A galaxy with a dazzling quasar at its center as imagined by an artist. A quasar is a supermassive black hole that is millions to billions of times the mass of the Sun and is extraordinarily bright, distant, and active. A quasar's brightness outshines that of all the stars in its host, galaxy combined, making it one of the brightest things in the cosmos. Quasars feed on falling matter, releasing torrents of wind and radiation that shape the galaxies in which they live. Using Webb's unique capabilities, scientists will investigate six of the universe's most distant and brilliant quasars. Number 3. Orion Bar The Orion Bar is a diagonal, ridge-like structure of gas and dust in the Orion Nebula's lower left quadrant in this Hubble picture. The Orion Bar looks to be shaped like a bar at first view, sculpted by the intense radiation from neighboring bright, young stars. It is most likely a photodissociation region, or PDR. Number 4. Multi-Wavelength View of Centaurus A Centaurus A has a distorted center disk of gas and dust, indicating a previous collision and merger with another galaxy. It also features an active galactic nucleus that releases jets on a regular basis. It is the fifth brightest galaxy in the sky, and is just approximately 13 million light-years away from Earth, making it a perfect target for NASA's forthcoming James Webb Space Telescope to study an active galactic core, a supermassive black hole spewing jets and winds. Data from the Hubble, Spitzer, and Chandra Space Telescopes, as well as the Very Large Array, were used to create this image. Number 5. Centaurus A in different wavelengths. A multi-wavelength image of the galaxy, Centaurus A, broken down by Hubble, visible, Chandra, X-ray, Spitzer, infrared, and the very large array, radio. The dusty core of Centaurus A is visible in visible light, but its jets are best seen in X-ray and radio radiation. Researchers expect to better pinpoint the mass of the galaxy's center supermassive black hole using upcoming infrared data from NASA's James Webb Space Telescope, as well as evidence showing where the jets were emitted. Number 6. APEP star system evidence suggests that significant volumes of cosmic dust are created when big stars' stellar winds meet in wolf rayet binary or multiple star systems. A characteristic pinwheel pattern forms as the stars orbit each other and dust is created, as illustrated in this image from the European Southern Observatory. Warm dust glows in the mid-infrared light wavelengths detected by NASA's James Webb Space Telescope. Confirming the genesis of dust will aid in explaining the inexplicable overabundance of material observed in galaxies, which is critical to the later creation of stars, planets, and life as we know it. Number 7. Pluto and Charon Pluto and its biggest moon, Charon, are two of the most well-known Kuiper Belt residents. This combination of improved color photos of Pluto, lower right, and Charon, top left, was captured by NASA's New Horizons mission on July 14, 2015. Both Pluto and Charon's color and brightness have been processed identically to allow direct comparison of their surfaces and to show the resemblance between Charon's polar red terrain and Pluto's equatorial red landscape. Pluto and Charon are depicted with roughly accurate relative sizes, but their true separation is not to scale. Number 8. High Redshift Quasar and Companion Galaxy 
The artwork by this artist depicts two galaxies that existed in the first billion years of the universe. At the heart of the bigger galaxy on the left is a spectacular quasar, whose brilliance is generated by heated matter surrounding a supermassive black hole. Despite the quasar's searchlight beam, scientists believe that the resolution and infrared sensitivity of NASA's future James Webb Space Telescope will allow it to discover a dusty host galaxy like this. Number 9. NGC 3256 Although the two galaxies of NGC 3256 appear to be fused in visible light, a second brilliant nucleus is discovered among the tangle of dust lanes in the middle region, the Great Observatory's All-Sky Lurg Survey. Research team has been examining galaxies like NGC 3256 from X-ray to radio wavelengths, using a variety of telescopes on the ground and in space. NGC 3256 has a buried active nucleus, large-scale shocks caused by two massive outflows, and a plethora of compact, brilliant star clusters. Upcoming James Webb Space Telescope study will help researchers understand more about the outflows, allowing scientists to better model the hot and cold gas and establish what implications this has for how and where stars emerge in fast-moving galaxies.